All right, everyone, we are here with two very special guests. We are joined by the lovely, beautiful, sexy, hot Camille Kostick and Brooke Snader. Welcome back to the show, ladies. Welcome. What an intro. Whoa. Yeah. Well, you guys are well, quite every distracting. Word. You guys I'm walked not gonna in and I was like, I said you guys look so cute, and I was about to say cute, and I was like, cute does not do no. these outfits no. justice. No. I thought mine really were popping. I'm this top I'm covered is up. meant for two year olds, but yeah, you know. we're yeah, we're we're on nipple watch. It's, just it's my gonna style. be hard. I got a good I got a good I got a good angle. Pop, yeah, so. right in my face. Just be careful. Right, it's hard not to look directly at <laughs> yes. I'm not gonna lie, we're that right. Was here. The goal. That yep. was the goal. Um well you guys are back in Sports Illustrated swimsuit this year. Brooks, you were on the cover. Congratulations. Woo! Thank Emil, you. you have been on the cover a couple times before. Just once. once. Yeah. Just once. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> feel like it was more than that but whatever <laughs> yeah. um you have been on the cover before how does it feel now looking at your friend who's on the cover now have you given her any advice any words of wisdom how to handle this moment i just saw brooks for the first time since she they announced the cover just yesterday and i walked in and i just like my stomach had butterflies for you because Aww. i just it's was probably one of the best feelings in the world and I think when I've done interviews before I said I hope that everyone can feel this euphoric feeling and watching Brooke's video like I got choked up and like got chills for her because I mean I'll let her speak to that moment because it's I mean it was insane I like actually don't believe it because I haven't seen it on stands yet but like it's just obviously you go down in history with like all the icons like yeah. Christy Brinkley, mm -hmm. Cindy Crawford. I mean, all those amazing supermodels that have been on the cover or Kim Kardashian or mm -hmm. Megan Thee Stallion or whoever it is. I mean, we're in such great company. And are you kidding me? Like Martha Stewart, Megan Fox, me, yeah. Kim Petras. I'm like, OK, ladies, it's, like it's kind of guys, amazing. Yeah. I'm freaking out. It's an insane year. How did you find out about it? Did you find out very shortly before it was announced to the world or oh my god I found out like the day before it was announced basically I was in the Middle East I was doing a shoot and then I went on a vacation and I came back and I was like mm, it's definitely not me because it comes out in like a day so whoever's on the cover definitely knows because yeah. I feel mm -hmm. like in, in years prior like people the cover girls found out like a week before you I know found out two days before okay well that's yeah. different yeah. yeah that doesn't fit my story no, my yeah. line. <laughs> um, no. no I feel like they tell them just right before and then well, at least a few days. I mean, yeah, one yeah, day yeah. before I was like, I mean, it's one definitely not me because I had no prepping. Yeah, yeah. But, and then they all, I was like on a shoot. It was the end of the day. I was like so ready to go. And then they all just ran out, like the whole team, all, however many, 10 of yeah. them. And they all had the cover like blown up everywhere and they were just throwing it in my face. And I was like, I thought that I like, you know, when you think like, what if I fainted and this is like a dream and then I <laughs> yeah. come to and this isn't real. It sounds so stupid, but I literally was like, actually, am I? Like the lights were all in my face and I was like, am I starting to pass out or is this actually happening? So I'm sure you felt the same way. I didn't think it was I'm real. like so happy for you. Like I'm yeah. like beaming. I like, because I watched your video and it's, you were, you were, you thought you were doing a photo shoot. Yeah, I, I was literally my knees locked and I was like starting to faint because I couldn't believe it was real. It was, and you know that feeling. It's just like, you don't believe it's real. I feel like it's really gonna set in when I'm in the airport and I like, see it at yeah. the news yeah. and I'm like oh that's when it set in for me with my friends who got the cover in past years was yeah. like in the airport after launch mm -hmm. we would be in the airport and we'd be like oh my god you're on the cover so I'm probably gonna tell everyone even the checkout and everything yeah. oh as you should <laughs> I know I was cracking up at your Instagram story of you holding it to the window washer oh my god I was like it's me he was like he was like what literally hanging off those wrappers yeah. yeah I was like don't get too excited he's like yeah cool <laughs> I told everyone yesterday they were like don't tell anyone until it's launched and I was literally like I need to go outside at 6 a.m. and tell like the pigeons and I don't even know who else <laughs> yeah. like yeah because I had to tell someone I had to get off my chest so cool yeah Have you you even Amazing. slept at all honestly no like I, I i have the covers that they surprise me with blown up they're like all over my room and when i wake up i'm like what the fuck is that really me yeah <laughs> but um no i haven't slept it's like a whirlwind the whole launch weekend promoting yeah. the issue it's like start to finish especially if you get the cover and have mm -hmm. a packed schedule it's mm -hmm. just like you it's almost like your wedding day times seven days yeah. because you just black out yeah. well, we yeah. got so, so excited because cool. we obviously had this on the schedule for a few weeks now and we were like Rhea and I just kind of always look at the list of people and we're like we want to have our friends yeah. <laughs> so we were like Dad. well yeah. we were like, can, we're like can we have Camille and Brooks come together and they were like yeah we we're like awesome that we the, great and then 
we see the cover and we're like, oh my fucking God, she got the cover. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. uh, we, we know how to pick them. Yeah. 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 So cool. You guys wow. really yeah. predicted that yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. I remember amazing. when yeah. Camille got it and I was like, I just had this feeling. And I remember telling you this. I was like, I just had this feeling. She really did. She, she was going, yeah. like, I just felt That's you were going wild. to get I didn't it. Even, like, I didn't even have a feeling. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, I just felt it. And then, you know, you have been, I mean, both of you, like, I don't know anybody who travels more. Like I'm, I'm just confused. Like how she, your travel no, is. We is insane. She, people call me robot. They're like, hey bot, hey sexy bot. Yeah. Like you just beep. beep well, we're. Beep, I'm yeah. just confused. We're like, where in the world is Brooks Like, yeah. Like, yeah. like you're in the Middle East. I don't even know. Yeah. You're how, in New York. How like, do you keep going? Like, do you know what time zone you're in? Like, you are traveling at a pace I have never seen yeah. before. <laughs> I like should get rid of my apartment at this point because yeah. I'm never there. <laughs> I I, I, just, I like don't keep up. I basically, my trick is like whenever I get on the plane, I just get on the new time zone immediately. So like I took off for the Middle East at like 9 a.m. here and I was having like a Xanax and a bottle of red wine and that was perfect. Yeah. And like a steak. Like yeah. it was dinner. That's and I was plane, like, that's the plane no, 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 no. Uh, That's the thing. And then you wake <laughs> up and then you're on the time zone. It's like perfect. That's, that's what I do wherever I go. I mm-hmm. mean, that's what helps me. But I don't know. I just try to stay sane. And don't. I, <laughs> I know it's. How was, how was your vacation? Oh my god, it was amazing. It was amazing. I mean, I had the best time, and I was just living my best just life. Seems Getting like such a tan. far part of the world f- to go to. Like I'm always like, that looks nice, but will I actually it's travel so far. that far? Probably not. It's, it's so know. far. I mean, go to the Bahamas. Yeah, it's right. A little easier. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's beautiful, but it's very far. Exactly. So, Camille, where did you shoot for this issue? The Dominican Republic, and I've shot in the Dominican in the past. It was just a different part, but I just, I was talking to the guys about this. It literally looks like we shoot on green screens. Like, you could probably shoot in a studio in New York City. The The places that we go to are so picturesque. Like, it's... It's unbelievable, and it makes sense now. We go there, we work with the Board of Tourism, and then it makes people want to go there because yeah. these places in every which corner of the world are unbelievable, and we get to be yeah. the ones to help model it. Our job's are really fun. Mm, yeah. It's a lot it's of fun. super easy. Actually, it's funny that I was like, oh my God, me and me are doing this podcast together because we were both in the Dominican Republic That's for our right. shoot, and we're both really scared, even if it's like a beautiful <laughs> hotel, whatever. We both get really scared sleeping. We've been on shoots before in Mexico. We like, like company. We sleep, we sleep together in the same room, and so we were like... <laughs> Like it was like we were an old married couple. Like we were yeah. laying in bed, and I'd be like, "Good morning, honey. Good luck on your shoot. Like, have yeah. a good day." And then she would say the same to me. Was, and it was just so mom all of us. We would like be in our slippers yeah. walking around. She the made room. she had tea. We made tea together. We had a kitchen. Yeah, it was cute. That's every beautiful. night. It was she was cute. like, "Your room or my room?" I was like, "My TV doesn't work right now." Yeah, having company is nice. Me and Devin Rhea sleep and Devin together like when we go on tour because uh, 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 we're we're afraid as well. And then yeah. they're like. Why don't we just like get you guys one room and we're like no like we like we to want have, two we yeah want yeah, two yeah. rooms but we're gonna sleep together yeah right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you're exactly. like I need my closet room right and right my, you yeah. need to get ready yep. and of then like course. I'll see you back here soon I'm like the opposite I just want um quiet be in my own like <laughs> own bed not to talk to anybody I'm, I'm the obvious I'm uh, like, complete opposite once I'm like the clock both. strikes a certain time of night you're, like I'm just yeah. nobody talks to me I can always be around people like I can I could sit comfortably in silence with somebody else in the room like Me that's too. what i enjoy totally like yeah we know we don't have to, to speak say. we know we don't have to speak to each other mm-hmm. but like we can go like an hour without talking and then one of us talks and then all right a little conversation mm-hmm. go and back to not it, speaking yeah just comfortable silence that's 100%. why it works when it she works. has to sleep she'll be like do you want to have a sleepover the sleepover means I'm going to be, Brooks will be asleep yeah. already. I'm going to come in. She's going to be up all I'm night. I'm going to drink my tea she has for me and then I'm going to go to sleep. Yeah. But it's really cool yeah. to think about. You woke up and she left me in her bed while she went off to go shoot the cover and, you know, neither of us no knew. No idea. I know. She was like, have a good day at work, honey. Like, yeah. see you later. Yeah. And we also like, I'll FaceTime my man. She'll FaceTime her man and we'll put them on FaceTime <laughs> together and we'll be like, open up every closet and every door. We know you're hiding a bitch in there. We know you guys are hiding someone in the closet. And they'll be like, bye, click. Yeah, yeah, we're totally hiding somebody in the closet. Yeah, while, like, while our girls are shooting um, SI swimsuit. That's definitely what's know. happening. You never Brooks know. Rax me up, she'll get on. She'll be like, Rob, 
who's that in the background? I heard something. I'll be like, the TV. Yeah. He's like, it's Ralphie. I'm like, prove it. I don't believe yeah. you. Or, or if you FaceTime and they like don't answer that immediate second, but they call you right back. And it's like, Cheater. oh, were, were, yeah. you, were you shoving her under the blankets? Yeah, no, That's literally. What was happening. Literally, literally, literally. We're literally. all the same. We're like, open the curtains. She's fucking behind me. Yeah. Go away. That's so funny. And like, Billy will have his retainer in and be like, okay, he's ready to bed. I'm like, he's definitely not fucking anybody. Yeah. That's oh. Oh my funny. god <laughs> you guys are both like crossing off bucket list moments in your life i feel like you know you both have gotten the cover now camille you have done a lot of tv hosting things that you have dreamed of mm -hmm. what's something that you guys both have not quite got there yet but is like that's next in line a podcast <laughs> i talk really? so much really? on people's podcasts. you would be perfect for your own podcast do you want to know why i won't do one uh, why i haven't done one is because i don't think i have anything left to say i've left uh, it all out on the table and everyone else guess what podcast. Camille, i was guess gonna say what? the podcast a podcast guess is very attainable really really for you also <laughs> guess what they, you may think that and we have those moments all the time. There's always something else to I'm say. I'm like, well, I just be so like redundant always. over and over and over and Trust over me, again. You should have a podcast. Uh, well, Listen, you, you always have it? something to say. Yeah, you talk every day, don't you? It. Um, yeah, you, you always have something to say about everything. And that's a good thing, I think. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'm like, I have nothing left to give to this world. Like I've given yeah. it all. And then I come in the next day and I just don't shut up. Yeah, mm -hmm. So I love that. I don't you know if I can have know. a podcast. I mean, I think I want to... I want to. Oh my God! What is that? Those what? creepy feet. Oh, oh, that's oh, so, oh is that oh God. Is Dad Dobby? Oh yeah, it's Dobby. God, that scared me. So. I was like, is that someone's baby? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> is it okay? No, that's Dobby from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! That's my grandmother's grandma name, Dobby. Oh, um, that's, cute. <laughs> that's worse. <laughs> that's worse. <laughs> um. Anyways. You want him to sit next to you? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'll take her. It's my grandmother's him. name. Oh, it's a him. I don't even it know. It's Harry Potter. I don't watch Harry Potter. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come to mama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I hate this little doll. <laughs> Wait, I'm it, your censor. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to blur this on YouTube. Dobby was literally <laughs> Explicit. Dobby? Explicit. Oh, my God. Both. Okay. Right. My gosh. Dobby. That's well, Dobby. It's all Dobby's oh, fault. Gotta, Dobby. He's perverted like that. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay, you were saying what, okay. what something you want to do next. I was saying I am really into like movies. I'm a huge movie buff TV. I've been in a movie before, but I obviously wasn't the lead. It was a horrible movie with Sylvester Stallone <laughs> and it got really bad reviews. So don't watch it. It's called Backtrace. I was in a nurse. Whatever. Um, it's, what was okay. your role? Lisa Orderly. I was the nurse and I like walked up and he was missing from the hospital and I was like, we have to shut down the unit now. And I just like started sprinting. It was so embarrassing. But I feel like I want to get more into that, like TV, movies, yeah. all that. Um, my sisters all live in New York. So we're like all getting into that world together. And that's been a goal of mine forever. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I love modeling, but also it's kind of like tough for people with big personalities like us that don't want to just take a good photo. Oh, That's why I, SI is fun because yes, it's like video yeah. and it's photo and it's launch and it's press. It's not just like one yeah. photo, you know yeah. what I mean? I always, when I like love hanging out with Brooks and Billy, <laughs> I am like in love with the right one. Continue. <laughs> it's like yeah. a it's a it's like a running joke. I love to just be a third wheel and just watch, watch us, Brooks and Billy, just like be themselves. And I always say, you guys need a show. Like you, she's like, I just like sisters. to watch you guys. <laughs> I say this all the she time. Does, she does. I think that Brooks and Billy are so funny Mainly and then me. yes <laughs> yeah, he's, he, and, he's, no it's he's, the way he can't possibly compete with you <laughs> no, no brooks is hilarious it's the way that billy responds and like reacts yeah mm -hmm. he's just thinks i'm ridiculous yeah I'm like you chose this life and I then <laughs> and then you and your sisters like you got it, it i would want i want to watch that show all of them. Too. no yeah it's it's fun i mean we have a lot on our, on our list i feel mm -hmm. like you're always doing new things so am i so i get bored easily like me too i just don't like to do the same thing i like challenges like Acting scares the shit out of me. So actually, it just but like. But it was so good. I feel like we haven't seen you in person and you, like, you did a Ryan Reynolds movie. That, yeah. That, and well, and you want to know what? Got reviews in my yeah, movie. Yeah. <laughs> under the radar. <laughs> that was, that's one of those things where, you know, when that, when that audition came through, you know, my agents were like, you should get some acting classes. You should whatever. I was like, no, I'll be in my head too much. Like, let me just do how I 
feel bombshells yeah. meant to be portrayed. And I mm-hmm. just went for it. And then I got the call back and I did the uh, the call back in front of Sean Levy, who, is, you know, if you don't know Sean, he's unbelievable and is in a lot of movies you probably love and Stranger Things. And uh, he gave me a couple corrections and I was like, I literally said to him, no wonder you're a director. You're really good at directing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was and pretty I, good at this thing. Yeah, and I left and I was like, you know what? That was the best acting class of my life that I learned yeah. a lot. Never in a million years thought that I mm-hmm. booked it. And then when I got the call, I was like freaking out. And then, you know, that was so, so fun. It's so fun because, and I, it's fun because when I go and I host a show or I go on a podcast or, or we, we model, like I feel very relaxed. It's still like nerve wracking the night before and stuff, but acting like I can't sleep like the month leading up to the day and then the day the night before not sleeping at all and I know the lines and I'm running the lines but it's not just memorizing it's embodying that character and that's the complete opposite of acting or being yeah. a, a model you're being yourself yeah. most of the time so that's it's a challenge but I like it I like things that scare me and are challenging because I feel like when you reach I don't know this point in your life you know you don't not many things that are like learning how to ride a bike again and that's what that is for me how did you find out you got that role what was the process like of finding out the call I who called me I think a casting director in Boston called and I had just I've done so many auditions over the years that I just god damn it just I don't know I started to become friends with her because I had auditioned so many times and just wasn't landing anything (laughs) and then she finally was like you landed free guy girl and I was so excited I was like screaming I was like is this real life but like that yeah that's such the acting way it's like you can do so many things Mm -hmm. and it's just people love that movie that one oh my gosh it's a great movie yeah it was I I love that movie I love it yes it definitely was a movie where you like watched the trail and you were kind of like what is this like you were like kind of confused and then I remember watching the movie I was like that was really good the more i watch i've i've seen it so many times now but the more i watch it i like see something else because there's so much detail like the video game characters and everything and then there's lines that you might not have heard and then you start to piece it together and it's it's pretty interesting especially since i feel like so many tiktokers and and people are talking about how we live in a simulation that's literally what the movie is about right Right. exactly about waking up in a simulation (laughs) yeah (laughs) when's the first time you guys met do you remember when you did swim search i guess so i went swim search in 20 the year before me, right? What year did you win? I think I was 2019. Okay, so I won 2018. Yeah. And she, and then passed the crown to Brooks. Yeah, yeah. that was it. Now with um, the swim search, do you guys think it's getting a lot harder because there's so many different avenues now? Like I feel like with TikTok really exploding, mm-hmm. that opens up a whole other range of people that mm-hmm. are gonna enter themselves. Mm-hmm. How does somebody stand out if, if they wanna be a part of it? I mean, I think that like, you know, with TikTok and all the news, I sound like an old lady with all the new technology and everything these days. <laughs> um, I feel like SI Swimsuit likes to meet people in person. They do the video submissions, but then they'll do like Zooms and interviews. They really like vet everyone that mm-hmm. they put into the magazine. Um, so I feel like when I did Swim Search, it was like a physical stand in line situation. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't know how the team did that because there's only so many of them and they would literally speed date every single person. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that was, I think, honestly, maybe harder from my perspective, being in person, like flying out to Miami at 19 with no money, like the whole thing. Now I guess it's easier for people to just submit a video. Mm -hmm. I think that so far, like, you know, they've done such a good job of vetting everyone and making sure. I mean, there were some people when I was interviewing swim search candidates in Miami that I was like, Oh my lord! Because you know you meet everyone. Like they mm-hmm. had the models one year speed date with the with talent and see like yes or no. I definitely got some death threats after saying no to like a couple oh people, but I was like, it was hard. That's a responsibility. Well, it's hard to be on on that side, especially yeah. coming out of being in that yeah. position. You want to say yes to everyone? Yes. Like I was like, oh my god! But her husband is like, yeah. you know, this, that, and the other, and they're so yeah. cute together. And they were like, you can't say yes to everyone. Do you like, have to say no to their face? Mm-mm. No, but no. they know okay. who they interviewed with, right, so right, they remember. Right. Oh. But I mean, you know, <laughs> they never forget. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's like tough, like you said, like being on the other side. I interviewed with Christy Brinkley, so I was <laughs> shaking in my boots. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, she's going to be like, who is this little mm. troll? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, but it all worked out and she said yes. But like, you know, that decision is so important to someone else's life. But, you know, it's, it's a really fun process. I actually miss the in-person swim search because I feel mm-hmm. like 
since COVID, they've been doing more virtual. Yeah. But um, it was actually fun. That's like my favorite week of the year because I remember being on the other side mm-hmm. and I remember both of us crying whenever the girls who got the top 16 it's found out because we were in their in shoes. The room. It's just insane. Yeah. Oh, you can feel everything. I remember, were you on stage with me when I yeah. when I announced the names? Yeah. Or did we take turns? I think, I don't remember exactly I can't, how, okay, how we went, but we, yeah, always, we were all on stage. We always say like, it feels like the first year every year that we shoot and it then really we go back does. and we think about it and I'm like, Oh my God, so much time has passed. Like you don't realize until you stop and reflect, which I'm trying to do a lot more in my life. And, but I remember we walked up on stage and we had to announce like the top 15 or 16 at the time. And you hear it all the time, how everybody says energy is everything because it really is. And in that moment, anyone who says it's not needed to be in that room because every body, every face you could feel it. And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm sweating. I'm crying. My heart's shaking. I'm nervous. Like I picked up, we could pick up on everyone's emotions. And I just started crying, saying everybody's names because, yeah. and like shaking. And mm-hmm. I was so, I was so fine. Like I, yeah. you know, I had my spot was secured and, and I got to do the best part, which, which was announcing yeah. the names, but you knew that it was going to break some hearts and, yeah. you know, crush some dreams in the moment. But, you know, for those people who got up and kept trying, you know, yeah. Katie Austin is, is a, girl in the magazine who's I don't know how many years that she tried out for swim search but she did a couple yeah. times there's a lot of girls who have come back year after year and that's really yeah some people like you know won't make it one year like Tanae White was the same thing and then mm. she made it the next year you know mm-hmm. so yeah you do need to keep trying because right. I do feel like it's also like a little bit of muscle memory for like the team like they're like oh wait yeah I, yeah totally I remember you you were really nice yeah. and then if you just keep showing your face um but yeah they have yeah. a really good swim search yeah. class this year too of like the top I forget how many there is, but they have a really good one. I it's I cannot believe it's how always many great. Years Every year we like yeah. we look and well, you people that we recognize, <laughs> yeah. people we recognize, but or we had like our having. sights. But you had our sights on us. How do you guys feel or navigate when like because you guys have a ton of friends that probably want to be a part of it, right? Mm-hmm. And they probably ask you, oh, like how can I get involved and how do you tell people the same thing? You know what I mean? Like, don't, you don't want to crush their dreams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you also have to be honest and be like, I'm not going to get you in. Right. Well, it's (laughs) kind of true. Like, we can't get anyone in to ask us. Right. Like, it's like, literally not in our hands. So, I tell anyone that reaches out to me, like, I did swim search and I'm on the cover. So, (laughs) do swim search. I mean, it's like, it's a great avenue for people Mm who aren't with a modeling agency or, I mean, even if you are with a modeling agency, like I just told this story the other day, like I remember vividly the second I got the cover, it was like I was dying. My life flashed before my eyes, like my modeling career flashed before my eyes. And I was like, oh my God, I remember my first agent, which was a very reputable, prominent agency in New York City was like, I wrote down my goals and like number one was Sports Illustrated and they were like, okay, so we're talking realistic. We're not talking like far-fetched goals. This isn't realistic for you. And I was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And that's why I went to Swim Search. So I was with a modeling Mm -hmm. agency that had models in the Mm -hmm. magazine, you know, like that SI worked with. And so they told me like, absolutely not. That's not realistic. Obviously, I sent them a signed copy. Left yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> see ya. I actually did it. And of course, they were like, our girl, like posting right, on their Instagram, right. you know, in SI Swimsuit. Yeah, like, well, so, I'm not your girl. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, and here's my lawyer. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but it's, it was kind of like, I tell people that all the time. Even girls that are with agencies are like, I haven't been able to get in. What's the deal? I'm like, you just got to keep going. Like, yeah. come to Miami and do swim search. You're not like above that because you're with right. a big modeling agency. Well, and know? I think another thing that comes with it is when, when you, a lot of the times, the people that reach out and ask questions, it's usually not my friends. My friend group's super small, and I think yeah. that we all get along because we have a lot in common that we like to talk about, but not a lot in common, like, career-wise. Like, mm-hmm. we're all, like, me and my girlfriends are all so different. I yeah. met you in this industry, so of right, course yes. we have that in common, but, like, my my people from back home, yeah, 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 <laughs> like yeah. the girls yeah. I went to college with, grew up with and stuff, but a lot of the people that message me will ask me that I don't necessarily know but want yeah. advice. I find that there's a common denominator. They assume that I have something that I that they don't have going into it. For example, right. they'll tell me like, I don't have an agent. And I was like, neither did I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or I, I don't live in, in New York or LA, neither did I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't live, I don't have a lot of money, neither did I. But yeah. you make it, or I don't know a lot of people, I don't have a network or I don't whatever. And, and I'm gonna talk about the elephant in the room 
so many people think that Rob opened Rob up doors for me yeah, with Sports yeah, Illustrated. Yeah. And actually, it was so forcibly the opposite in the sense that we were broken up yeah. when I got into Sports Illustrated swimsuit. MJ had no idea that he was my boyfriend. We actually ended up getting back together later in the year. And I think I had asked if he could like, or no, he didn't even come to launch week for the first few years. I think like I might have FaceTimed or something and she was like, is that who I think it is? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, I had no, no idea. idea yeah. And also... Even if, let's say they did, he was never going, like, I never wanted him to be a part of the conversation. If there was any red lines when it was time to do press tours or anything, like, it was like, that is a no, no question. Ask me anything else. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me that. And I, because this has been something that I've wanted for so long, but ultimately everybody wants clickbait and it's so easy to say Rob Ronkowski's girlfriend and that right. is so frustrating to me it's actually something I wanted to bring up because I feel like Kristen Harper has talked about it on this Women in the League podcast is will that ever stop like can that ever stop know, like a woman a woman who works so hard in what she does but happens to fall in love with somebody like that like yeah. that becomes your title forever and always like right does it ever end? And, I, yeah. and it's something that I've I've literally had to sit with myself and like battle over or if we were to ever break up, like, do I have an identity anymore? Like I work my ass off mm -hmm. and I get a little emotional about it because it's just frustrating yeah. a lot of the time. And I love him. I love him. And yeah. I will talk about him and it, you know, it is what it is, but that shit pisses me off. Like yeah. I can't like, believe him. I have to bleed me out, but I'm just over it. And, um, don't even know how this went this way, but yeah. I, I, maybe it's because when I wake up in the morning, it's on my Google alerts and it's just right. like, yeah, knock no, it off. I, I will say this though, as somebody who has followed you for years and years, and if people have followed you for years, they know you so separate from that. Like I know you as somebody who has like manifested this life mm -hmm. and has like this great energy and is always talking about on your Instagram stories mm -hmm. or just Instagram in general, you're always like, I'm journaling, I'm putting this out there yep. in the universe. I'm working hard towards my goals. And so I have always seen you as somebody who has just fully worked hard themselves and mm -hmm. has worked towards their goals for years and years, even since you were a cheerleader before mm -hmm. that, like I just see Thank you, you yeah. for you. <laughs> like I really do. Well, I and I'm noticing what helps me. Well, I'm over it now. That's why I'm kind of saying F it. And it, it is what it is. And I keep yeah. saying that too. But what has allowed me to continue to just do what I do and let the media speak is that I lean into people like you and like loyal friends and family and or listeners or whatever it is that know me for me and I just it's just like something internally that no just you're like, it is right you are right though because it does happen often and I do feel like it is like the he people just want what they assume is going to be the headline so mm -hmm. they just go with like somebody's girlfriend or somebody's boyfriend they just like pick mm -hmm. whoever they deem mm -hmm. to be the more clickbaity name and it mm -hmm. is it, that is it is pretty ridiculous and people i know people really fight against that and people will share i know a lot of women that'll like share those headlines and be like this is my name yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, i'm not like wife or girlfriend yeah. or ex like mm -hmm. So you have yeah. made such a name for yourself. Totally. Like, I, I hope you know <laughs> totally. that. And I'm glad. I think you do yeah. know that. You did it on your own. No. Yeah. Like, totally. Yeah, I, didn't know who, I didn't know who that was until we yeah. FaceTimed him. I mean, I, like, you know, like. I, I think it was something I just so got off my chest at this moment. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, this I, is like, I, I felt very cathartic. <laughs> Honestly, I, good. Good. Because yes. that happens to me all the time. Like, I'll start talking about something and something else happens. And I'm like, I don't even know how I got here. But it feels really great that I a little bit regret out. saying it. But at the same time, like, I'm kind of sweating right now in my, no, in my no, insides. No, no, but it's fine. But it, it just don't, whatever. Because it's really not a crazy <laughs> no, thing. Good. You it's got not it a crazy thing. No, you should say it if it's how you feel. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, and it's, you know, there's so many women who agree with you because it's not like you just said something mm -hmm. that nobody has said before. Yeah. Like you, there is an army of women who support you and believe that mm -hmm. that is exactly how people should look at it mm -hmm. because that happens. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, like his name wasn't even coming to my mind talking to you. Like I, that wasn't no, no. even, that even wasn't even gonna come up in the conversation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't even know how it just <laughs> did. I'm like, wow, we got really sidetracked. But okay. Yes, no, no I, mean, I know. We well, no, because you're, you're a, people assume that like, if they message you like, 
to get involved in modeling. It's like, well, I don't have a NFL yeah. that's how star was. boyfriend. I was like, where that's did we get here? It yeah. was that question. I don't have an NFL star boyfriend. How do that I get Neither do I, and yeah. I'm yeah. on the cover. Exactly. It doesn't matter. Yes. It really doesn't. <laughs> no, I no. that Brooks is yeah. thrown in. I'm on the cover. I'm on the fucking cover. <laughs> I, I, I should. I should. I should. Every As you should. How about my She's therapy only. session? I don't have a therapy session. I don't need an athlete, but if I did, I would be like you and say, excuse you. It has nothing to do with their decision, with SI's decision. No, no. And that anything. was my point. And if it's, anything, it like it it makes it harder because yeah. then they'll be like, oh, there's gonna be the backlash of like the wags or mm -hmm. this or that, and so you have more to like odds against you mm -hmm. with modeling right. to yeah. get those big jobs and, because people have the stigma. But trust me, everyone loves you for you. Obviously, as I met oh, her, yeah, yeah. I didn't know who she was dating. I didn't care. I just liked her for her. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I so did as I. You know. But like, I, and I think that there's so many like that you guys are both so successful and you're both in relationships and those like sometimes it's just assumed that that you don't get the support or yeah. but it's like mm -hmm. you are you these guys are great and supportive but like they're Side stories in your amazing careers. It's so nice that you have them, but they help mm -hmm. you in your personal lives. But there, nobody gives you mm -hmm. your career mm -hmm. like, right. like no right, significant right, right. other gives you your career like that. Right. Like mm -hmm. that's I mean, if that were the case. You couldn't have a career then. Like yeah, you exactly. How do you sustain yeah. someone opening the like? I don't know. It's just mm -hmm. mind blowing to me. But to wrap it all up in a big yeah. bow, when people ask us this question, you just. Like you pave your own path and yeah. you will get there. And honestly, the more that you fall down, the better the story is, the more you learn, the more yeah. rejection that there is, the more meaningful, I heard yeah. you talking about yeah. it in your cover reveal video, the more meaningful it is for that big yes. And that's why, I, I don't know how old you are, but I got the cover when I was 27 and that's like not normal to like right. start your modeling career at that age right. like you're supposed to start right. like yeah, when you're yeah, like yeah. before you turn 18 like yeah. It's, yeah. It's, no it's so crazy it's, you, I mean I'm right. 26 I'm like a yeah. 80 yeah. in modeling years <laughs> yeah. I'm like an old lady mm -hmm. no but it's true I mean I feel like I was actually thinking about it and I was like oh my god I'm actually I was like who am I going to send this to a signed copy with a note who didn't believe in me yes. and I was like wait but I'm actually grateful for the people that said no to me yeah. because mm -hmm. it like lit a fire under my mm -hmm. ass to like do the things that I always wanted to do and just to it, it motivated me like it's not like haters are my motivators it's like so stupid but it's like people telling me you can never do that I was yeah. like I kind of want to do it if for no other reason than just to prove that I can mm -hmm. yeah. to myself not to them but to myself and so that's why you know I was honored and shocked to be on the cover but I was also like when you work really hard and you're good to people like that is going to be reciprocated mm -hmm. and yeah. like I just feel like you're the same way mm -hmm. and everyone who works with both of us I know likes working with us and repeats working with us because there's so many people that yeah. work with people once because we went out of our reason. way to pick both of you guys right, to come yeah, back yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm like hey we, we got the chicks in the office call yeah, yeah. Um, but you know I just feel like it's it's amazing and I I, I literally was completely speechless and I still am and I still haven't seen it because mm. it's not actually on stands yet so I feel like it'll actually hit when, me then when does that happen do you know I think like Thursday Thursday or Friday honestly you would know more than me <laughs> yeah I'm like um, I'm just counting down the hours maybe <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thursday at 6am yeah. I feel like I'm also like manifesting a Nate or sister moment next year. Like, get all, I know. <laughs> like, I just met all the sisters. Well, too. now I've met, and I've met yeah. all of them yeah. now. And yeah. I'm like, honestly, because you guys do so much together and it's so cool. And you all like have your own individual looks. But mm -hmm. as a unit, when you all get together, it's yeah. like so cool. And I know you guys do, you know, stuff together and shoots together, but it's so fun. I'm I like think like a mother group hen. SI <laughs> Nate or sister. I like trip that idea. Very cool. I like that idea. Yeah. It would be Honestly, so cool. I'm, I'm manifesting that too, because mm -hmm. I'm like, listen, you little bitches don't know how hard yeah. I work for all this stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, I had to do all this, this, that, and the other. Lug my tote to Brooklyn for these stupid test shoots. And you girls are in milk studios. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. like, you just don't get it. I feel like I'm already that parent that's like when I was your age yeah. and they're just like we get it but it's nice because I'm teaching them like about the industry but also letting them find out for mm -hmm. themselves yeah. and mm -hmm. I have to stop myself from like saving them from some uncomfortable situations because I want them to get told no and to like feel the rejection a little bit not, yeah. not too much but I can't protect them from everything so I like you know they're always asking me questions and advice and this cover for them I feel like when I got the cover like 
they got the cover. They were yeah. freaking out, except mm-hmm. for the one sister who's always jealous, who you've met. Um, <laughs> but the other one? one's crazy on the middle oh, one. Oh my God, I she was like, wow, <laughs> oh my God, you're on the cover. I was like, yes, You guys I are am. so funny. Meanwhile, Sarah Jane had like you as her phone background <laughs> yeah, I last know. night. I was oh, like, she, she is oh, so cute. She, she was like, she's like, look. Like she was shut. So, oh it was her phone God. background. Oh I God. saw Grace so Ann at love. the club randomly, like in the passing. And she was like, she like came up to me and I've obviously I knew who she was because we met and yeah. she was like I'm the I'm the one with like the little Uzi story and I was like I know who you are <laughs> like I remember yeah, the trust me, story. I would never forget this I would never she's forget like, you remember guys me, coming babe? in yeah. she's, she's so insane. funny <laughs> no it's amazing it's so funny and my parents it's so funny because like we come from like a really humble beginnings and background in like the country in Louisiana and my parents came up originally because they were going to watch me throw the pitch at the Mets games tonight and they were like my dad's like oh he's wanted a son I had four daughters like you're living yeah. my boy dream yeah, yeah. and I'm like okay dad weird but okay yeah. so then when they That's find awesome, out I get the though. cover they're like all right we're staying all week we canceled everything yeah. they're like we're going to Miami we're doing the world tour with you I'm like okay I guess you're staying with me there it's like a family affair like mm-hmm. literally all six of us as you know mm-hmm. even when I was swim search and I was just in like one small page they can't they have come every single year to every yeah. single event yeah. they come visit. My dad's like, Camille, want your matcha? Like he's like getting yeah. orders for so everyone. No, like, is that your dad on FaceTime? Like we yeah. all know they your love. I mean, it's like yeah. one, literally one big family. My yeah. parents are like, they might as well be in Sports Illustrated at this point. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. like, it is awesome. Look, um, we don't have to get too deep dive because we got to wrap up soon. But I do want to ask you guys because just not to point the, make Camille upset now. What? No, more just because I was going to say like, you both are in long-term relationships and successful relationships and you work your ass off. And I feel like we have a lot of listeners that try to balance like Mm. putting yourself first and also having that significant other. How do you guys balance it? I just put myself first and I'm like, hey, I don't have time for you right now. (laughs) And I'll see you in another lifetime when I have time. No, I I need to like prioritize him more. Because you guys travel a lot too. Like it's hard. That's like kind of, it's like kind of long distance without being long distance. It's like an in between. It is. It's it's literally basically like a long distance relationship. I'm just like in a whirlwind of, things right now that I, I it's so bad but I can't focus on that right now so I'm like just support me and like when I'm crying just like give me a yeah. hug and stay out of my way should, yeah. <laughs> I feel should. like I actually feel like I was in the I'm gonna call it the Brooks era of just like yes 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 every opportunity yeah. that comes I'm seizing the day I'm getting it I'm com- I'm doing it and you know it's no coincidence that this milestone came at this point in your life when you're like hustling like crazy and everyone who knows you is, is watching you like crush it and, and, and not sleep like yeah, yeah. and just go and and I did that and then I hit burnout yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. but it, but in that cover came at that time where I was just like so hungry and I was just and, and I'm still hungry but I'm hungry with a lot of chill like yeah, and I'm like yeah. in order for me to be hungry and be good and be focused and mo- truly motivated and find joy in what I'm doing it got to a point where I wasn't having fun anymore like it was like oh, I have to go to LA like where instead of being like I get to do this like yeah, yeah. And now I'm in that place again because I took time off for a little bit yeah. like <laughs> it's reminding me of that I took some time off <laughs> to rest oh, yeah, and now I'm it's game, game time, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's how I feel like I'm back in my game time and like I'm so excited for this launch week because I took some time off to rest yeah. <laughs> and, and I, I, yeah. And I just really need it. Like truly, I feel like now I'm bringing out my Megan Fox era. I was talking about my Brooks era. Now my other cover girl era is Megan Fox where I'm like very much about like honing in on like my inner child and spirituality and meditating and mindfulness and, and just doing what's best for me and my energy. And honestly, one that I'm working on, which I'm finding I'm still radiating heat off my chest is speaking my truth. And like, yeah. and so speaking to relationships, I hustled and did what I need to do and, you know, never slowed up because that's also why I was so attracted to Rob. Yeah. He did the same. He never even had a serious relationship before me and for that reason. And so we just, it was able to work and I think that's why we work so well. And, but now, you know, with him, he's retired, but he still works so much. But now like he literally is sleeping in at the apartment walking Ralphie while I'm on this like little press tour yeah. day and Amazing. like I'll see him later and he'll be there for New York and the Miami launch sometimes he was only able to be at the yeah. second half of launch and he comes to my shoots now and he gets to see what I do instead of just FaceTime and talk about it you know it's such a difference if you have the person that you love you know if either of you guys have yeah. a guy in here like to watch you work it's different than you go home and just talk about it yeah. so it's cool to have him on the scene I feel like I always say to him you like 30% knew me 
and when I would just tell you about my life now I feel like you know that extra 70 percent now that you see how I work yeah, because yeah. when we're in the zone working it's, it's much so different hard. than like our lovable selves at home yeah. like we're we're a different woman like totally and it, it's a very attractive side for for either partners to see someone work and hustle and yeah. see what they love definitely I, that, so that's true. so true you gotta have like a good balance yeah. you guys both have amazing dudes right yeah, yeah, they are. Oh, <laughs> do they ever come on the podcast? Well, mine works here. He works so. here. Oh my god! Yeah, but he, he would. comes to. Um, he would. He comes to our shows, like our live shows. Oh, oh that's gotta. So do, has I yours come in? No, no. Scene? He he would rather be a little on the private behind the side. scenes. Yeah. So cute. I love Supportive him. for sure, but definitely is like that's you know your world. I can watch. Like you from. won't Total. be able to pull him out and stage at a live show and have yeah, him dance. He, no, <laughs> no, my God, I would love. I would pay to see that. Yeah, no. <laughs> get him drunk and do that. Both of them. Oh, I'm. I mean. I'm sure Easy. he could be coerced. Yeah. Like now he makes jokes about it. I'm like, no. Also, like, <laughs> and then they want it. I know. Like, right? wait, but why well, didn't as you? As soon yeah. as I was like, I would never have you do that. He was like, but, but why? why? I'm yeah. like, well, it's my show. <laughs> do you want to <laughs> be on it, you weirdo? Yeah. 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 It's total. Oh my god. Exactly. I'm like, mm, this is my show. Like, <laughs> stay in your lane, babes. <laughs> no. Exactly. No, no. There is no. a balance, and I think just you know, I'm I've learned that. It's all it's very important about like having open communication and being yeah. honest about things, even if you're fearful of like what they might think. That's honestly a red flag right there. And I had to learn, you know, I learned that I kept a lot of things in because I don't like controversy. Totally. I don't like upsetting the other person. I'd rather swallow my I'm the same. Fears I was the same just, way. Yeah. Let's just I'm have the a great opposite. day. Yeah, yeah, we know I'm you're like, the opposite. Back off. Yeah. 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 And he's like, oh, my God, you're so <laughs> testy. Um, and right now he's like approaching me with such caution because there's like such a packed schedule and I'll be home and, and like little curmudgeon like whatever and he's like hey and I'm like shut the fuck up yeah, yeah. don't talk to me and he's like I'm so open okay. with my feelings too yeah. like, I'm like you know exactly what mood I'm yeah. in you you I could not be more honest yeah. as total, total. Like, yeah. you should be less honest you, if anything you, yeah. yeah like you just know exactly how I feel at every time yeah. of the day yeah yeah which that's honestly yeah, amazing it's good. you know what you're yeah. getting it's very New York <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, to wrap up, I'm going to tell you to put your right boob back into your <laughs> shit. Thanks Bobby, for giving us a Bobby, show for Bobby, an hour. Bobby, Bobby Wait, too. I love my arm around this thing. I know, Dobby. The whole interview. You've been really yeah, comfortable I mean, with it. Isn't it unfair? <laughs> Dobby can have his nipple out. He's no. not right. <laughs> I mean, that's a great way to wrap it up. This is a freaking child's top. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. You guys still out. are so funny. Uh, we love you guys so um, much. Guys. Congratulations Thank to both of you. you. Congrats <laughs> on the cover. We are always rooting for you guys. You guys are so awesome. We love you. Thank you, guys. We love you guys. Woo. I love how we both don't watch oh Harry Potter. We both don't watch Harry Potter. I know. We're like, who's Dobby? My grandma? <laughs> <laughs>